Hello, 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 hello. Welcome and good evening, good morning, um, good afternoon, depending on where you're watching from at this time of the day. Welcome and hello, ladies and gentlemen. And I officially welcome you to episode one of my Step In, Step Out, Step In podcast. This is episode one. Uh, finally, the dirt is here and I'm so excited. Um, to begin this podcast, it's been something that I put on the shelf for quite a while. And tonight, I start the um, episode one, and it's going to be every Monday at 6 p.m. Um, for the next couple of weeks. And um, let me first of all introduce myself. My name is David Jill. I'm a pastor. I'm a person of faith. I'm an author, a husband, a father, and... Um, and a friend <laughs> to many, I believe. And um, yeah, I, I, in, in 2020, in the year 2020, during the pandemic, um, the COVID-19 pandemic uh, season, I had the opportunity to write my first book, um, self-published it, and it is uh, entitled Step Out, Step In, and it's currently on Amazon.com. Um, and every Monday at 6 p.m., I'll be hosting this podcast for the next couple of weeks and months. And, um, and tonight as I begin, I, I, I just want to give you the, uh, this is just going to be the introduction. Um, as I mentioned in my introduction, I'm a person of faith. And I wrote this book based on a biblical story and recorded in Matthew chapter 14. This is where after Jesus had fed the 5,000, he told the disciples to get into the boat and go to the other side. And when the disciples got in the boat, in the middle of the sea, they encountered a storm. And in the midst of the storm, in the early hours of the morning, uh, the Bible says the fourth hour, that is between the hours of 3 a.m. and 6 a.m., it was still dark. He saw Jesus walking on the sea, walking on the waters. It was it was still dark. And for Jesus to be walking on the waters, the water was still boisterous. The sea was still raging. It was still stormy. And when afar off, the disciples saw him and they thought he was a ghost until he identified himself unto them. And when he identified himself unto them, 12 disciples were in the boat. And out of the 12, one decided to do something remarkable, something extraordinary. And, and, and this one person called Peter, you know, Peter had been a fisherman all his life. He's seen um, in the sea, you either um, get in a boat or you swim, but he had never seen anybody walking on the sea as his master did, as Jesus did. So in the midst of that, stormy um, weather where the boat was being tossed and back and forth and all that. When Peter saw Jesus, he said to him, ask for an invitation. If it is you, bid me to come. And Jesus gave him just one word, one word, just one word. 
and that one word was come. He acted on that one word, and he stepped out of the boat. Twelve disciples in the boat. Peter decided to do something different from all the other twelve. And he stepped in the boat. He stepped out of the boat and stepped into the waters. The water was still raging. It was still stormy. And Peter started walking on the sea as his master was doing. You know, the other disciples could have done something differently, but they decided to stay in the place of comfort. They decided to stay in a place of um, security. I mean, they, 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 they saw getting out of the boat to be something very dangerous, something very risky. But Peter, out of the 12, took that risk. And based on the story, I wrote this book. You know, many people have stepped out into the place and position in their lives, but find it difficult to step out of where they find themselves. You know, it is very easy to find comfort in the place where you associate yourself with. Sometimes we hear the phrase that if it's not broken, <laughs> don't fix it. But it is easy to be, it is easy to be stuck in a place of comfort and be reluctant to move out of that place. You know, your comfort zone will give you that security. Your comfort zone will give you uh, that, that um, safety. Of course, it will give you that comfort, <laughs> but it will take you nowhere. So in this book, I said, in order to step out and step in, step out of your place of comfort and step into the places where you want to explore, you first of all will have to understand your why, your who, your what, your how, and your where. So in the next couple of weeks, in the next episodes, that is what I will be talking about. Your why, your who, your what, your how, and your where. You know, so let's watch the space. This is just an introduction as day one, episode one. So watch the space and stay tuned to my YouTube page, um, to my YouTube, subscribe to my YouTube page. Uh, don't forget to click on the, the bell so that anytime we post, I post anything, you will be notified of it. Also follow me on Facebook. Um, it's, it's all there, uh, David Joe. We also screaming, I'm also screaming, um, did I say screaming? Streaming on uh, LinkedIn as well. Um, so you can check me out on LinkedIn. And, um, and if you want to support this page, if you want to support this, this podcast, um, I have a link in there. Um, and it says, buy me a coffee. At least a five dollar donation will help um, promote this this page. Will help um, do other stuff, uh, and and let's let's do that. And and don't forget again to subscribe to the YouTube page. Uh, follow me on Facebook and on LinkedIn, and also to support me, buy me a coffee. I, I'm a I'm a coffee. Breaker, I like coffee, and um, and just before I sign off, I just want to um, mention a few people in here. The dedication I dedicated this book first and foremost to the Lord God Almighty, who who has given me this ability and the talent to finally be able to write my first book. I also dedicate uh, this book to my wife, Nanea, uh, Jill, my children, Joel, David, and Angel, and as well as all my spiritual children um, who have always been an encouragement and part of what God is doing in my life and my ministry. Again, I also want to dedicate this to my biological father and mother, Professor Peter, Jill, and Mrs. Augustine, Jill, um, 
as well as my spiritual parents, Dr. Frank of Osopia and Reverend um, Mrs. Mary of Osopia of All Nations, Cary South, Loganville, Georgia, for all the encouragement and um, being a mentor and being my pastor as well and my spiritual father. Thank you so much for all you do and all you continue to do, your prayers and all the encouragement. And I also want to dedicate this to everyone who needs to take their boldness and step out into what God has destined for you. You know, I know that there's something great, amazing on the inside of each and every one listening at this moment or might be listening later on. That there's, there's a potential on the inside of you. Don't forget that. You have a great potential. Don't let it go waste. Uh, uh, the late um, Dr. Miles Moreau said that the, the richest place on this earth is not a go it's not a gold fields of South Africa or the mine fields of the Saudi Arabia, but it is in the cemetery where people with dreams have buried it, people that have songs and and, and books to be written, businesses to be um, to be started and Everything, I mean, the great things that should have been done. We carried everything, hid it inside, and we buried everything. But don't be like that. There's greatness on the inside of you. Step out and step into your greatness. God has something amazing in store for you. And I also want to give special time, thanks to Reverend Joseph Asma, um, Senior Pastor of All Nations Church, New Jersey. Um, for taking time off your busy schedule, editing, and proofreading the book. I also want to thank Mrs. Um, Dinah Aiden Biden and Virginia for um, being part of editing and proofreading this book, and as well as my wife, um, Nanea, also was part of it. And um, and to my children, Joel, David, and Angel, I also want to thank you for the encouragement and the support. I also want to finally thank my siblings, um, uh, Professor Olivia Joe. Uh, I'm sorry, did I say Olivia? Professor Olivia Agbenyega. <laughs> um, she's in Ghana. Um, Dr. Patricia Bwajikumi, uh, my brother, Reverend Eugene Joe, and my younger sister, Mrs. Deborah Dadzi. Um, for always being there for me anytime I need assistance and help. I mean, it's so amazing to belong to this wonderful and amazing family. So thank you all, and thank you all for tuning in. Thank you all for subscribing. Please share with friends and family, and, and let's, let's make this amazing. Step out, step in. Um, and also, uh, let me let me do this just before I sign up. Finally, <laughs> just before I sign up, um, you know there, there are a few mentions I want to make here. Uh, my book is currently on Amazon, and I want you to. It's only five dollars and ninety nine cents, just about six dollars, and there's um, a happy meal for my donuts. <laughs> if you purchase this book, it is going to bless me, and I believe that it's going to bless you as well. Um, so please go go on Amazon and let's pitch, purchase one, get one for um, a friend or someone, and and let's let's promote this. Help me promote this. Um, also, if you're looking for a family-oriented Bible-believing church within the Stafford, um, Virginia area, I want to personally invite you to All Nations Church, Virginia. Um, it is a place to come discover where we are restoring people and releasing their potential by connecting them to God. We meet every Sunday at 2 p.m. Uh, at 1449 Courthouse Road, Stafford, Virginia. If you're within the Stafford, Fredericksburg, um, 
Quantico, um, Dumfries area, we, we want to invite you. Please come in and don't come in alone. Come in with a loved one. And let's all come in and have a wonderful time together. I also want to introduce my spiritual father, my bishop, Dr. Franco Fosropia. Every Tuesday is at 6 p.m. Uh, he has this ambassador of hope um, teachings. Now, these are live teaching and destiny um, uh, changing messages. As he always tells us, this is not another church. But these are messages that will shape you, that will help you in your life, your spiritual life, personal life, spirit, um, your ministry, your career, your business, in every area, in every aspect of your life. These are teachings that I've observed that people pay thousands of dollars to go elsewhere to, to listen to, and he gives it to us for free. So every Tuesday at 6 p.m., please don't forget, subscribe to his um, YouTube page, The Ambassador of Hope. And on Facebook, as you follow him, is Frank Ofusopia, the official. Frank Ofusopia, the official. Um, so every Tuesday at 6 p.m., I mean, I would tell you, just come in, listen, and you will testify of it. Okay, and... Um, I also want to uh, um, mention here with my brother in Atlanta, all, all, all nations carry sales, uh, Prince Kisi. He's holding, um, he's hosting Atmosphere of Worship 2022 on November 19th, Saturday, November 19th, 2022, and it starts from 5.30 p.m. And featuring uh, Reverend Joseph Asma of All Nations um, Church in New Jersey, Reverend Denzel Prempe, uh, Tommy Favor, Favor, and Nanajwa. These are seasoned, these are seasoned, seasoned men and women of God. And, and worship is what they do. I mean, when it comes to worship, and when it comes to true worshipers, you can count on them. So on November 19th, let's remember to be there. All Nations Carry House um, in Atlanta, um, Loganville, Georgia. All right. So finally, I say thank you all for this time. Thank you for tuning in. This is just an introduction. God willing, next week, Sunday, next week, Monday at 6 p.m. We'll begin with episode two. That is going to be, we'll look at knowing your why. And, you know, sometimes we, we, we don't ask too many questions, but we want to, if you want to know something, you have to ask, you have to know the why. And once you know the why, then you can know your your who, your what, your where, and, 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 and all that follows. So again, thank you all so much. Please, please, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube page, follow me on Facebook and on LinkedIn, and prom um, help me promote this page by sponsoring, by buying a coffee for at least $5, <laughs> and um, to support this page. And again, thank you so much. Thank you so much. And watch this space. And on, on same time next week, Monday, Please, let's all meet, share, invite somebody, and let's have a wonderful and a wonderful time together. And until we meet again, have a wonderful and amazing week. Just to let you know, I love you, and there's nothing you can do about it.